Okay, as I understand, we have some problems with the internet, right? We can go up to the next. So, okay, who would like to take up next? Please feel free to, to just. I mean, I can go. Okay, please. Uh, can I share my screen? So sure. Or like, mm, can you see this right now? I think yeah. Okay, it works. So it shows. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Good. So first of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Rika from Bessonier Duet High School and College, and today I'm going to talk about uh, ecological problems in Hungary. First of all, let's talk about Hungary a little bit, so everyone knows what I'm talking about. Hungary is a Middle Eastern country located in the lowland parts of Carpathian Basin. Hungary is doing a lot to improve uh, to, or to improve the state of environment, but serious changes of attitude would be needed because uh, many people always choose uh, cheaper, which is not always true, options than the more expensive and environmentally friendly ones. The main problems are searches of air pollution, our energy production, heavy industry and transport. Smoke can develop in big cities, which can lead to diseases and allergies, and the growing number of car fleets is rapidly worsening the whole situation. Pollution is actually one of the biggest problems in Hungary. It can treat our surface and the groundwater as well. The use of fertilizers and chemicals in agriculture has declined, but um, improper and dangerous shortage of industrial waste tied methane bombs. From a facility, hundreds of thousands of cubic meters of cyanide and heavy metal containing wastewater flooded into the Lakos River and into the Tisza and the Samos. The concentration of CN was 180 times the limit value allowed in Hungary. On this picture, you can see a person protesting and the board says Tista Samost, which basically means uh, we want a clean Samos again. But as you can see, uh, he's wearing um, safety mask and clothes because it was so toxic. They couldn't really reach it without uh, any safety things. And, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> The Hungarian water authorities uh, quickly tried to save what they could save uh, and ensure the supply of drinking water and remove the carcasses. In April, it was estimated that more than a thousand tons of fish died in the river, but uh, happily, after two years, the creatures reappeared and uh, normal life has begun again in the Tisza and the Samos. But Fishing businesses have suffered really big damage and the heavy metal and the sediment is still high today. On these pictures you can see how bad it was actually and uh, on the left corner you can also see some people uh, protesting. Soil and light is also a problem because it uh, felt everywhere and it uh, reaches humans through the food chain. Noise and light pollution are uh, incredibly threatening as well, and we can hear the increasing air in villages and homestands. And uh, radioactivity is also a problem in Hungary because uh, after the Chernobyl nuclear program and disaster, the wind also delivered some radioactive particles to us. And actually, I can still remember to my one of my old teachers telling us, because we live really close to Ukraine, that um, it was like snowing, but it burned and they couldn't really do anything. They couldn't leave the houses, the schools, and yeah, it was pretty bad. Well, I have some solutions, but uh, obviously it wouldn't solve everything. The state and also the citizens have a role to play in the reducing uh, the pollution. Biggest problem is large companies, 
but they can uh, but we can also make small steps to make the country healthier and a better place like saving food energy water heat trying a more eco-friendly lifestyle going against pollution making sure we separate our trash and producing less of it is already really helpful Big companies could go for a renewable energy instead and using a less wasteful options to prevent more damage on the earth. Uh, you can see uh, eco-friendly products development circle here, which is actually a Hungarian circle. And uh, it shows how the planning, designing, forecasting, production uh, goes just in casual. And for myself personally, I try my best to live a healthy and less polluting life, also bringing my family to use better alternatives. Besides that, we should never forget to have a healthy mindset because a healthy mindset can help us overtake poor and also the work problems as well. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you very much, Rekha. That was very amazing and, and lot, lots of information. <laughs> Thank you for that. This is really, really important for everyone to know. If what anyone has on. any questions or... Yes, this is what I wanted to say. If you have any questions about Hungary, yes, this is the, the country where Rekha comes from. So feel free to, to ask. You can also type in the chat box if, uh, okay, if it's more convenient for you. Okay, uh, I also found out that we can easily decide who goes after whom in the chat box because we have the next uh, participant, um, again, sorry if I misspell your name, Ali Flia, yeah, uh, yeah. Al okay, so this will, this will, uh, will be the next presentation coming from I'm not sure the country, what country does it come from? Please speak up India. and introduce yourself. Okay, India. Yes. Great. Yeah. People from India. So whoever... Good evening, everyone. Hi. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Alifia, if you can just let me tell everyone if they want to take the lead next, just write in the chat box and I will just manage it easier. Thank you. You can start. I can start? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Alicia Alamdar from India. And uh, my students are going to present over here. I have five students in a group and they have prepared the presentation and they are going to talk about it. So over to you children. Okay, sounds great. So, good evening everyone. We the students of Prabhat Kids School from India are here to give presentation at this Fun Club Raising Eco Awareness International Project 2020. I, Divyani, along with my classmates, Batul, Garki, Ishwari, and Shravani are here to discuss the details. India is a country with a huge population and thus faces a large number of ecological problems. We are going to talk two of them, that is climate change and deforestation, which are majorly issue globally too. Both these issues need to be dealt and priority to build a better and sustainable world. Over to you, Ishwari. Yeah. So the next question with which we are going to deal is what can be done to overcome those ecological problems? As my friend Divyani has discussed about the two problems, climate change and deforestation. Climate change is a global crisis and the whole world is facing the consequences. Country like India with its huge population is trying to deal with the problem and undertaking several measures such as sustainable consumption and afforestation. Finding more and more ways to reuse and recycle available resources along with the renewable resources of energy will be a great solution to reduce the impact of climate change. Over to you, Gargi. As the friend has elaborated, one of the most important issues in India is deforestation. 
The current examples of deforestation in India are Molim Project and Thano Project. We can overcome deforestation by only one way, that's the afforestation. As we'll attend more and more afforestation, it lessen also the greenhouse effect and it will also give a nice fight to global warming. But the meaning of afforestation is not only limited to creating forests. We can also attempt afforestation by planting trees wherever possible in our community, like our schools, workplaces, and homes. But as we all know, the prevention is always better than the cure. That if we ensure that there is no deforestation taking place in our surroundings and we'll take care that if we avoid deforestation or cutting down of any tree, we won't even need to replace cut trees. But yes, anthostic afforestation, that's the afforestation by ourselves without any kind of deforestation will be always the best. Anyways, afforestation is the best way to overcome deforestation. Over to you, Shravani. So let us discuss about our contribution. Our contribution is to plant the trees. In our school premises, we all have planted trees. Some students bring the trees in the school and plant it. We also collect the seeds of mango, watermelon, and orange seeds and plant it. In every week, we have planted one tree, which created a huge change. We have also created new things as to plant a tree in the water. So we use it, making bags from this doing we reduce plastic. We also made new things out of those materials which we don't want. Like this, we use it. In this way, we follow three R's. As a responsible citizen, we all have worked in every project to save trees. So always remember, if you cut a tree, you kill a life. If you save a tree, you save a life. And if you plant a tree, you plant a life. Over to you, Batul. Adding to my friend Shramni's points, I would like to highlight that our school promotes various activities to conserve our nature. We have eco club of students who take initiative to plan and implement eco-awareness activities. This year, due to the outbreak of COVID-19, we could not carry out the activity of mass tree plantation during Environment Day celebration. But we students took it as an individual activity and planted trees at our home and in our surrounding area. We even participated in the Global Climate Action Project, thus contributing towards a better and healthier environment. During the festival of Diwali, we, the students, took an initiative to avoid bursting firecrackers and submitted a memorandum to our district collector to appeal the residents to follow the same. Morally speaking, we should be concerned for our whole environment. We need to teach people that the environment has a direct bearing on our own benefit, said the Lai Lama. And I believe to build a better place for all humankind. I would like to thank Face Club for giving us this opportunity to showcase our views about eco-awareness. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was very, very powerful. Thank you a lot. Very, very inspiring. Thank you, India. That's that's wonderful. Okay. Uh, then we go again. Get next. Yes. So next in line, as I see, we have. Uh, the, I think there was a question. Yeah. What's the question? Somebody asked a question in the chat box. Okay. We have many here, so <laughs> I'll just. Uh -huh. Maybe afterwards. Huh? If there is a kind. Okay, so we will talk about these questions afterwards. But now the next in line is Zahir. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, the names. I'm not sure to see if I spell them right and if I pronounce them right. So please. Okay. You can take the lead according to the, the queue in the chat box. Okay, we have already the the people here. Okay. Zainab. Yes, Zainab from Nigeria. Yes. I think I got it right. 
Is I yes, nod? you can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please. So, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Zainab Mahmoud from Nigeria Ghana International College in Abuja, Nigeria. Today, I'll be briefing you on the ecological problems that we face here in Nigeria. Just a minute, let me just share my screen. Okay. Okay, so um, before, let's, let's begin. Now, Nigeria is a country located in West Africa. It has a landmass of 923,768 kilometers square. It, is, it has a population of over 120, 195 million people, according to the National Population Census. Now, the activities and interactions of these millions of people with the environment and their activities has led to a lot of ecological problems in the country. The dominant ones are air pollution and um, water pollution. Now, there are some things that have led to these pollutions. For instance, we have oil spillage. Now, oil spillage is one of the most pervading issues affecting the environment, particularly in the south-south region, which we call the Niger Delta. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Exxon Valdez spill that happened in Alaska in 1989. Well, for those of you who don't, it is considered to be one of the worst oil spills in history. But here in Nigeria, we have it so bad that we have had an Exxon Valdez spill every year for the past 50 years. That's how, we, that's how bad we have it. Now, these oil spills happen uh, like in the process of people exploring oil in the country. So in the process of this, the oil spills and it becomes very, very terrible. The activities of oil at, uh, exploration companies have exposed a lot of communities to dangers associated with oil spillage. And it has resulted in the deaths of both animals and plants, and in some cases, even humans, because it contaminates the water. Whenever rain falls, it washes the oil from the land and then it flows into the river. And it really affects animal life. Next, we have gas flaring. Gas flaring now is another major problem in the oil producing part of Nigeria, still the South-South. Activities of oil producing companies have constituted serious environmental and health hazards, particularly in respect to general environmental pollution. To a far greater extent, people in that part of the country are constantly faced with instances of black carbon, that's um, carbon monoxide, which is very harmful, and it has caused serious health hazards to humans, animals, and plants. Bush burning is also a common and familiar ecological problem in Nigeria, and it is mostly associated with farmers who, for the sake of their farming venture, would clear and burn bushes, particularly in the dry season as we are now. Next, we have deforestation. Now, Nigeria is very rich in agriculture and it has a lot of trees, so much that the green in our flag represents our rich agriculture. But unfortunately, Deforestation, trail of trees, is very common, particularly by asset developers and farmers and construction companies. This ha and it has resulted in the deforestation of previously forested areas and the and endangering of wildlife in general. Another unfortunate ecological problem we are facing here in Nigeria is open defecation. Now, defecation generally is not something that is supposed to be done in the open and in undesignated places. Unfortunately, though, it is a common manifestation in Nigeria. A situation where, as at 2018, it was stated that over 47 million Nigerians are involved in this act. Now, and also, over 100,000 children under the age of five die each year as a result of water and sanitation related diseases, which are all caused by disgusting things like open defecation. Now, most, if not all, of these ecological problems are man-made. Man-made in the sense that they are, they are caused by man's activities. So, of course, we're definitely going to see the effects and they're going to be inevitable. However, we do, there are measures that can be taken in order to make the environment a better and safer place. And some of the measures that the government has adopted include the Federal Ministries of Information and Environment, using the television and radio and other means of enlightenment to make the public aware of the hazards and consequences of anti-ecological acts. We have also adopted rapid tree planting campaign aimed at bringing back our abundant forests. 
The federal government has also declared open defecation a national emergency that must be curtailed. In this regard, a national campaign tagged Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet has been embarked upon. We also use greener means of energy generation now, such as <coughs> solar and things like that. The street clause has also been adopted by the National Assembly aimed at curtailing oil spillage and gas flaring by oil exploration companies. Now, I strongly believe that each and every person has a part to play in making the environment, Nigeria as a country, and in a broader sense, the whole world a better and safer place. I do my part by making sure I recycle waste be it paper or plastic, I make sure I properly dispose it and I encourage the use of plastic. I also do the needful by enlightening the people around me about the dangers of things like open defecation, improper waste disposal, and things like that. And I also make sure that wherever I am in my environment, there are proper waste bins for waste, for waste disposal. Unfortunately, this is all I can do, at least for now, at my level and given the circumstances. But I hope and believe that one day we will live in a country and a world free of all these ecological problems, or at least with very few cases of them. So, ladies and gentlemen, this brings me to the end of my presentation. It was a pleasure, and thank you for listening. Thank you very much for the very enthusiastic and so powerful presentation and the, 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 the manner you speak. I feel that we are on the same wave. We can definitely make yeah. very, very many changes together. If we stick together, definitely. then we'll bring definitely. awareness about this very important matter. Okay, yes. let's go to the next presenter speaker. We have uh, here in the chat box, Yusuf, who wrote next, yeah? Yusuf from Turkey. Yusuf Fafe, I'm not sure if I, again, pronouncing the name correctly, so sorry for that. Mm. Hello, I am Yusuf Fafe I am from Antalya, Turkey. Uh, I want to talk about sea pollution in Turkey um, as a reason of climate change. Okay, feel free to do so. We just need to share the screen, right? Okay. Sea pollution. Mm. Turkey has an important location between the crossroads of Asia and Europe. Turkish seas, like other environments, are affected by chronic pollution. After the 1990s, economic growth to Turkey's industrial productions gave harm to the environment, like sea, air. Oil tankers are the main source of pollution. Organic and inorganic pollu pollutants are from household, agricultural and industrial discharges. Spilled oil and heavy metals don't just affect the surface. They give harm to all the living things in the sea, deep water and drinking water. How we can Stop the sea pollution. Reduce contents and choose non toxic chemicals. Reduce wasting. Shop less things and use reusable bags. Buy less plastic. Use less energy. Reduce vehicle pollution. Use bag bikes. Fish respon responsibly. Practice safe boating. The world is our home, save the habitat. Thanks for listening to me. Thank you a lot, Yusuf. Very timely. Okay, very, very short and to the point. Thank you a lot. A very important issue about the sea pollution. Okay, we'll see the next Fajar or Fajar. Fajar, I'm not sure. <laughs> Please let me know if I pronounced the name correctly. This will be the next presenter, speaker. Are you here, Fajar? Just let me open. Let me okay. Open my screen real quick. Okay. Good, I know that, that we, okay.
So we will just wait for Ofajar and next, so that you can get ready, next on the list is uh, after Fajar, we have Melissa. Melissa from Turkey. She'll be talking about something else. Okay. Fajar, ready? So if you're sharing my screen, so I'll talk about it. Uh, have you sent the presentation to us? Yes, I sent the presentation to you. From your from your email. Okay, I think I found it. I'll just make sure to ecological issues. This is yeah, the name of it, right? Yes, I sent the presentation to you. Okay. Email. I'll just share it, and you'll tell me if it's the the one. Is it the one? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you can go. Okay, I'll be talking about ecological issues in Pakistan. Just a minute. Okay. Okay, so ecological problems refer to environmental problems and problems of environment, environment are also problems of ecology because environment is a really center of all ecological resource. I would also, I would mainly like to talk about global warming in Pakistan, but before we discuss that, um, we should first know that the terms global warming and climate change are not interchangeable. Like many people confuse them, they're not the same. There is a big difference between them. And global warming refers to the long-term warming of the planet due to pollution, whereas climate change is broad phenomena referring to abnormal variation to the Earth's climate. And to put it simply, we, we can say that global warming is like a symptom of climate change. And now, unfortunately, Pakistan my country is the, one of the biggest victims of global warming in the world. The heat waves and cold snaps that we've been suffering through from the past several years are all due to increased global warming. And also Pakistan is not a developed country. That is also a big issue. And we suffer from like many more issues such as, mm, like air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, these are all ecological problems. And apart from destroying natural beauty, like cutting down forests, these um, like people cut down the forest and things which really contribute to ecological problems in Pakistan. And what can we do to stop global warming in Pakistan? We can like protect the ozone layer from depleting at such a good pace. And we can help reduce the size of our carbon footprint on Earth. And we should adopt a minimal waste lifestyle. And it will help minimize our impact to the planet's natural resources as well. That's it, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Fajar. That, that was informative too. Thank you a lot. Next is Melissa. Yeah, Melissa from Turkey. She was next in the line. Just please let me know if you are here and you can share your screen and start the presentation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, raising the awareness. Firstly, this is our school. This is my school. Okay. Now you now now we hear you. Yes, you can just speak closer a little to the microphone. Okay. Okay. This is our school. Okay. Air pollution in Turkey. Turkey repeat changes in 1990s about car usage, urbanization, and industrialization. These changing surfaces because of the quick changes in economy. For years, there was no control about factories and how they produce their product and which material they used as an energy. Next, 
air pollution map of Turkey, while to state that the most important factor that causes air pollution in our country is the use of fossil fuels, um, premature deaths, hospitalizations, and more than 3 billion euros per year's health expenditure are made depending on the use of these fuels. The map that you see in the screen emphasizes that big cities and around of them are very dangerous because of the particles on the air which damage our body. Most dangerous city, Düzce, most health city, Rizal. And next. Um, reason, reasons of air pollution, urbanization, the past immigration of rural population to urban population causes non preparations of cities' population growth. Due to growing population demand in these cities, environmental problems increase and city comfort is influenced. Increasing air population causes a downfall in life quality, especially in winter season, these problems are seen clearly. Istanbul is the most populated city in Turkey and 38% car of the Turkey used in Istanbul. This causes serious air population in the curtain areas. Um, wait. Reasons of pollution, of air pollution, urbanization. Oh wait, pardon. With the coming of the industrial revolution, humans were able to advance further into 21st century, technology developed rapidly, science became advanced, and the manufacturing age came into view. With all of manufacturing age came into view, with all of this came one more effect, industry pollution. Earlier, industries were small factories that produced smoke as a primary pollutant. However, since the number of factories were limited and worked only a certain number of hours a day, the levels of pollution didn't grow significantly. But when these factories became full-scale, industries and manufacturing units, these issues of industry pollution started to take on more importance. Next, effects on industrialization in Turkey. Turkey has several important factory accidents, and these accidents damage the nature very importantly. One of the examples happened in Ayvalık in these days. One olive oil factory's waste pool collapsed, and all the chemical and waste products spread to the rivers of Ayvalık. Also, because of the chemical gases spread everywhere in Ayvalık, it has become difficult for citizens to breathe. I will look also known as a, one of the most popular touristic city of Turkey. And now, what we can do for future generations. A significant portion of air pollution is caused by cars. Choose public transport using less fuel. Timely maintenance of the vehicles. Preferring to reach places within walking distance by walking or by bicycle. Stop the engine of the vehicle during pauses and waiting. Energy saving by turning off lights and electrical appliances when not in use provision. We need to stop using fossil fuel and try to focus on renewable energy sources. Preparing trainings on the importance and predictions of the environment and informing the students. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Again, very informative and with lots of ideas and, and solutions. Okay, next, uh, this is uh, Zehra, if I'm not mistaken, again, yeah, the, the name. Yes, it's me, Zehra, Zehra Heather, okay. from Pakistan. Okay. Good. Can you share the screen? Yeah, sure. Okay. So the next after you will be Vruz Hali Patil, yeah, just get ready. Okay, so please, Zeka. Yeah, I am mm -hmm. We see your presentation and we see the very funny picture, very, yeah, illustrative. Oh, oh uh, can you wait for some seconds? Our area is coming. If you are not ready, we can just switch switch places. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you please give me the next turn? Okay, so we will just ask Rushali Patil 
if ready uh, yes ma'am yes yes, yes ma'am please good evening all of you yes kya kiya okay zehra please stop okay stay here so ma'am may i yeah sure uh, again ma'am. i'm i'm sorry if i don't pronounce your name correctly yes ma'am you pronounce it correctly vrishali patil ma'am actually my students are going to present here great okay so over to you children bhumi bhumi yes ma'am is my screen visible yeah yes it is Uh, a very good evening to everyone the environmental crisis is a global issue and only global action can resolve it with these heart touching lines we all greet you a very good evening i am bhumira thod from prabhatkat school maharashtra india today we all are here to speak up on the ecological problem in our country earth is our planet and we must do everything to keep it clean the thing which affect the most to our motherland is the pollution and the major factor which comes under all kinds of pollution is the plastic yes plastic is the most harmful solid waste it can it can emit the greenhouse gases it can spoil it can poison our food chain plastic has many side effects so our country and planet can be green safe and healthy with the decrease in the use of plastic let's do something drastic say no to plastic over to you devansh and bhavik as bhumi said plastic is a beast therefore it is for plastic the things which are made up of plastic like plastic straws plastic containers water bottles etc in the things in different ways like silicon etc Yes, Devans. We can use alternatives for plastic. And as Bhumi said, plastic affects human health and aquatic organism. So, an affordable solution to this problem is the proper dispo is the proper disposing of plastic. And one of the safest way to do that is recycling plastic. And we can enable proper recycling by using smarter plastics and the organisms which can hasten the process of degrading plastics. <laughs> Is dangerous and dangerous to certain materials that could be packaging stuff. Bioplastics are made from bioplastics, which in fact. And the one. Hmm. Yes, Bita, continue. and they once we can reuse plastic in many ways and one of the ways is practically applied in india which is the plastic road it is a way of reusing plastic bottles and cups instead of burning it in this method we can make roads of plastic and currently we are able to make roads which are made up of 70% of recycled plastic and 30% of bitumen we hope that in future it rises to 100% handing over to you durva we all have realized how big is the problem of plastic for our mother earth so to make a big change we all need to start from small steps to overcome this drastic problem we all need to start with small contributions from our side we all follow the principle of the 3 r's reduce reuse and recycle we have reduced the use of plastics especially single use plastics in our day to day life most of us have preferred using a cloth or paper bag over plastic bags even while shopping A very good way to reuse plastic is by converting it from the waste to the best. We have made various articles from the waste plastic bottles for planting plants, wall or home decor, a bird feeder, water containers, etc. This way creativity has enabled us to reuse plastic innovatively. Also many types of plastics can be recycled and recycling plastic needs lesser energy than making it. so we have tried our best to recycle plastics putting them to a good use 
Every year in our school, we launch new and innovative projects in view to promote a clean and green environment in the school, as we can see in the image which is shown here. We have an eco club in our school, which empowers us to participate in environmental activities and projects for the students, teachers and society. We believe we can do this. We all would like to thank the Face Club for giving us an opportunity to present our thoughts about the ecological problems in our country on an international platform. I would like to thank you. Thank you very, very much, Durva. You are amazing, really, really great. Thank you very much for that. This was wonderful. Okay, let's uh, go back to Zehra. Are you okay? Yeah, you yeah, yeah okay? I'm ready now. Okay, great. Then you can take up now. And then we will go to Sandu. Sandu, you'll be next. Yeah, no, <clears throat> no problem. Okay, so I'm going to start now. So I'm from Pakistan. So we, today I'm going to discuss the ecological issues and or environmental issues in Pakistan. So let's get started. So I want to discuss some of uh, the issues, for example, global warming, pollution, deforestation, and flooding. So let's first move on to global warming. So as you can see, a very funny picture of our Earth, Mother Earth, who is sick and, and, and is crying that, oh my God, my temperature is so high, temperature is so high. So basically, now let's get started. Global warming is the gradual heating of Earth's surface, oceans, and atmosphere. Basically, this all is uh, happening due to our human, human activities, which is burning of fossil fuels, fuels and the increase in, in, in increase in the atmosphere due of carbon dioxide, uh, CO2, methane, and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These all, these all things have a great effect on our weather. Now, global warming leads to an increase in weather events, such as waves, when, uh, when basically sea level rises, rises and when storms came, storms came, so the global warming caused flooding and also sea level rises. Sometimes Pakistan faces a lot of drought, droughts and, and, our and our agriculture land that becomes totally dry, dry and we face this, and we even, sometimes we have even faces famine. Now cyclones, we probably not uh, experience much cyclones. We only experience a short number of cyclones in our cap uh, in, our, in our city Karachi, uh, where where the ocean, where basically this Arabian Sea meets the land. Land uh, we uh, only uh, experience tropical cyclones, which are little cyclones. Then the rainstorms we experience a high. Uh, um, heavy rainfalls, heavy rainfalls. So these all are basically the causes of global warming, of global warming. And this all occurs because of high, high temperature, high temperature. And, and we should, and we should now get ready to, to in, de decrease this, decrease this problem because it can cause a very great danger. Now let's move on to pollution. So there's, there are many types of pollution, land pollution, water pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, and a number of, lot of number of pollution. So pollution is basically the introduction of harmful materials to the environment. As you can see in the picture, land pollution, land, land pollution, Pakistan uh, has uh, have not a good system of, uh, do not have a good sewage system. And we have, and have, we have a lot of, lot, lot of, uh, and we have even built a lot of garbage mount, mountains and that's not good thing. Our rivers are polluted, our rivers are polluted. Factories are near the riv rivers and the ri rivers are polluted. The air is also very polluted. The factories, factories have caused a great danger to the in environment now. As, a as the population is increasing, increasing, uh, the, uh, we have less, uh, so the residential areas, they're becoming near to the fa factories. Air pollution is occurring. The cars have a very great impact on the, uh, on the air as well as the land. So we want, our, so basically, even plants and animals are being killed. So these are, and a lot of lung diseases occurs, uh, can, uh, uh, cancer, can, cancer, respiratory diseases and a lot, and a lot, or a lot of even, even, even skin cancer as well. Now let's discuss deforestation. Now deforestation is basically the permanent removal of, uh, of trees. As the population is increasing day by day, we need more land for our residential purposes, commercial purposes, purposes for building banks, 
bank shop uh, shopping malls shop shopping mall, shopping malls and all these basically the requirements or requirements so now due to the cutting of trees the when floods came the trees are basically uh, bas uh, basically don't don't uh, do basically uh, basically do they do not help us to uh, help us to stop flooding uh, to stop flooding but and and uh, as the uh, level of carbon dioxide is increasing in the atm atmosphere and atmosphere trees uh, uh, play a, uh, play a huge role in in, in uh, giving in giving oxygen to the to the atmosphere so these all things are occurring and due to uh, and we are cutting trees to make more and more room and space for us now the last is now last is uh, flooding when the, uh, when there is a uh, when the huge rainstorms rain, rainstorms came uh, the cities the cities which are not properly developed like a lot of like a lot of villages in pakistan they uh, they they are they became they they are they, uh, they go under they go under water people pay, people they many of people many people lost uh, died even also they even also died died their their houses are completely flooded they face a lot of they face a uh, loss to their properties 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 and and we should and we should make uh, and we should uh, make solutions to this problem because if because if we will not uh, we, will, we will not think about these these problems today it can cause a great danger thank you okay thank you very much now we had next in line Sandu. Yes. Yeah, that's me. Um, let me just show my screen. Second. I didn't yet manage to read the the messages to the bottom because if I move something, I will just split everything up okay but i just follow the uh, oh, can you and hope yeah yeah we do i hope to have several more and to wrap up okay so sando please um okay so um my project is about um the pollution that me and my uh, school found in our country. Um, Save the air by Vakar Sandu, I pick you number two. So first speaker from Moldova, from, till yes. now, because we didn't have anyone from Moldova. Good. Um, uh, the causes of the environment issues uh, were identified by me and my colleagues with some ecological projects uh, that we participate in that. And we also, uh, got some solutions to uh, for, for these uh, ecological problems. Uh, for uh, the causes and the effects are the for deforestations, uh, the forest absorb uh, carbon dioxide. If we cut trees, the carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere and it increases the greenhouse effect. Second is the transport, uh, because too many cars uh, there are too many cars in the street that uh, that pollute the air. Uh, third is the energy waste uh, because all forms of electricity generation have an environmental impact on our air, uh, water, and land. Uh, the fertilizers uh, because um, they use they use has a harmful effect on nature, plants, and humans' health, and the noise pollution. Uh, caused by factories that are situated um, close to residential areas. Example, the sugar factory near our school. It, it's also a case. And uh, the solutions are, uh, uh, and uh, here are some solutions. Um, we identify solutions that are represented through pictures uh, in our school. Uh, solutions like Plant trees, recycle, reuse, reduce, ride bikes, solar batteries, wind power. Um, we raise awareness uh, toward the problems by informing our younger colleagues about the importance of saving the air. And uh, here they draw. Uh, here they draw how they see the air clean and uh, in peace. Uh, we raise awareness through different online and offline games on the topic saving the earth. We play the 
keep uh, keep keep cool game at school we also did uh, some cahoots and quizzes um we cleaned the park near our school the heroes of the Kleinless project and the, here are some pictures uh, the eco patrol project where we engaged some um, uh, electrical uh, uh, electrical items that are uh, polluating the, the, the land and uh, we we reuse them reused them we planted the trees near our school uh, we did a bike flash mob the the kids in the in our school did a bike flash mob and uh, here's a quote by Mahmoud Gadi be the change you want to see in the world thank you for uh, all stars align this this evening yes we are all connected here you just quoted somebody from india and we have so great participants from india joined us so thank you very much for that sandu okay next is Uhmu, umut sorry i'm not sure again about the name i'm here mm, hope okay please Let me share my screen. and the next after that would be um i'm not sure i have some Okay, Abu, I think, yeah, yeah. So I think it's the right name. Abu Bakar will be next, please. Now, Umut, yeah, from it's Turkey. Particles, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi all. First of all, let me to quiz myself. This is Umut. I live in Antalya. Umut means expectations from the future. So this is very meaningful for our subject. I prepared a very short presentation for you. What is ecology? With the industrial revolution, a radical change occurred in the relations of human beings with nature can be defined by intensive environmental pollution problems created by industrialization's urbanization process. This is relationship unfortunately has turned into an environmental crisis on a global scale by 20th century. The content of being a global atmosphere compared to a century ago, it was much different and cleaner than today. While human beings are depleting all the resources in the world, its damage has reached enormous dimensions. These are the most important problems. Increase of carbon dioxide in atmosphere, hole in ozone layer, climate changes, drought, floods, skin sensor increase, nuclear and industrial pollution, damage to leaf, life and water, excessive use and pollution of water resources, de deforestation, decreasing productivity in agricultural areas, unhealthy urbanization, and plant Construction, sewage and urban garbage problems are among the main ecological problems of today. The number of living species on Earth is decreasing rapidly and it's estimated that by the end of the century we live in. We will lose half of the biodiversity we have today. Human kids create pressures on natural and ecological resources, causing their depletion and consequently various ecological problems. Effects of ecological problems. The problems caused by ecological degradation have started treating the leaves of humans and animals. Diseases and climate changes are increasing visibly. What should we do? 
the most important steps that can be taken in solving ecological problems should start with raising the awareness of society on this issue. It's so it's not impossible to reach a solution without community support. Ecological problems are not problem of a single country or society. All societies should solve this problem by taking steps together. We say that nature can renew itself when the cause of ecological problems is remote. The best proof of this is that during quarantine period we are in, air pollution has decreased in many cities of the world. However, this wall can take sometimes can take many years. For example, the effects of a nuclear accident at Chernobyl affected the lives of thousands of people and animals for decades. It is too late. All the peoples of the world must unite and protect our planet in which we live. We are also a part of nature. It's also our duty to protect our planet and our debt to the next generations. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Umud. Okay, nice pictures at the end. Next one is, as I said before, Abu Bakar, yes? Please, yes, I just want to speak here. some lines on pollution. Okay. Do you have a presentation or something? No, no. Okay. I just want to speak. Yeah, then maybe it would be okay if we see your face. Because it's a little empty if we don't have anything else. Okay. Can you turn on your camera? Can I start? I just wanted to ask about the camera. The camera quality is not so good. Oh, okay. But very shortly, yeah. The next, the next one would be Eugene. Okay. So please. Sorry for the noises. I'm not sure where do they come from. Are uh, they from from you, Abu? Okay, I think that Abu has some problems. Uh, Yojian? Yes, I'm here. Please, Yojian, yes, yes. take your turn and then we will come back to Abu. I have a present. Uh, my name is uh, Yojian. I'm from Moldova. Uh, district Do uh, Drokia. And uh, excuse me, but I can't make a uh, face here. Do you have a presentation? Yes, I have. Okay, please share it. But I have an error. Mm -hmm. It's saying it's unsupported document. Mm, did you send it to us beforehand? Uh, I didn't share that, but uh, I can't uh, retell. Um, it would be better if we have the presentation. If not, let me just leave the... Um, okay, we have Adriana or Alvina. Uh, Alvina, next. Alvina, are you ready? And we will come back. Yes, I am later. ready. Okay. Uh, I would like to share my screen. So. Please. Uh, just wait a minute. I'm sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. Yojan, if Can you... Can you see it? Not yet. Ajan, Ajan, meanwhile, you can try to send the... Um... Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we try. Okay. Try to send it to the email. Okay. So, uh, my name is Alvina and I, I am from Pakistan. Uh, so, I would uh, like to talk about ecological issues. And what are ecological issues? Environmental issues are harmful effects of human activity on the biophysical environment. Environmental protecting is the practice of protecting the natural environment on the individual, organizational, or governmental levels for the benefits for both the environment and humans. And uh, then we have some uh, examples. Uh, for example, food waste, 
and uh, we will talk about food waste food waste or food loss is food that is not eaten uh, the causes of food waste or loss are numerous and occur throughout the food system during production, processing, distribution, retail, and consumption. Global food loss and waste amount to between one third and one half of all food produced. And then we have air pollution. And air pollution is a mixture of solid particles and gases in the air. Car emissions, chemicals from factories, dust, pollen, and mold spores may be suspended as particles. Ozone, a gas, is a major part of air pollution in cities. When ozone forms air pollution, it's also called smog. And it is very harmful for us. And then we have plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is the accumulation of plastic objects and particles, exam for example, plastic bottle bags and microbeads. In the Earth environment, the adversely affect wildlife, wildlife habitat and humans. Plastics uh, that act as uh, uh, po uh, pollutants are categorized into micro, meso or macro depressed based on size. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. We can go back to Yujia if he's ready. Okay, now, yeah, I just stop. Um, okay, Yujia says to the next. Uh, what about the previous speaker, Abu? Abu, have you sorted out the issues you had? Okay, Abu? You can start talking. Yes. If it's very short, yeah. Next up, Abu, we have. Yes, I can talk. Okay, Adriana will go next. Okay, after you, please. Pollution is one of the main causes of an environmental issue because it poisons the air, water, soil, and noise. As we know that in the past few decades. The number of industries have rapidly increased. Moreover, these industries discharge their untreated waste into the water bodies, on soil and in air. Most of these wastes, wastes contain harmful and poisonous material that spread very easily because of the movement of water bodies and wind. Thank you. Thank you, Abu. Very nice and very to the point. Okay. Next, we have um, Alvina, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, again about the name, again. I am done. Uh, you are done. I've, I've seen you, okay, too late maybe. Adriana, are you here? Uh, yes, hello. Uh, okay. My name is Adriana. I am from uh, Moldova, Drokia, and uh, I have uh, PowerPoint. Uh, can you see my screen? I think, yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, clean air at home, realized by Vico Ladriana, Town Drokia, Moldova. Uh, I made a presentation about indoor pollution. Uh, indoor pollution, how to protect ourselves from indoor pollution. pollution. Uh, silent killers in our house. Indoor air can uh, be two to five times more polluted than the air outside your house. Some organizations raise this number to 100 times. Uh, silent killers in your house. Uh, 3,000 cases of cancer are caused by uh, exposure to indoor air pollution every year. Uh, 50% uh, of all uh, illness are caused of average by polluted indoor air. Uh, types of uh, airborne pollution. Uh, dust miles, pet dander, bacteria and viruses. Uh, almost all household cleaning products use uh, voices uh, volunteer organic compounds, household cleaners, odors, pesticides. So, how do we protect ourselves? Uh, first, we need to understand what uh, this uh, airborne pollution, 
contestants uh, are and the way they come from. Uh, second, eliminate this uh, pol pollution sources if possible and neutralize the uh, pollution itself. Uh, use uh, non-toxic cleaning uh, products like lemon, uh, wine gear, and uh, baking soda. Uh, take average from uh, indoor plants. Uh, indoor plants clean air naturally and return oxygen into the air. Uh, plants regulate air humidity, uh, eliminate toxin, filter, fil filter chemicals. Uh, leafy plants are most effective for indoor air purification. Uh, regularly air your house. The most effective way of getting rid of indoor pollution is to exchange your indoor air. Always open window in your bedroom after you wake up and leave them open for several hours. In cold weather, open windows and door wide for a few minutes. Uh, this is more effective than microventilation. Uh, minimize pollution. Uh, remove uh, clutter but collect dust. It's a good idea not to wear shoes indoors. Uh, don't allow pets in your bedroom, especially if they spend time outside. Regularly clean your house with a wet cloth, uh, furniture, floor, windows, etc. Avoid smoking indoors. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for the advice. There are lots of things that we can take from that. And we have two more speakers as far as I can see. We have uh, Daniel, um, Yojian, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if he is ready. Daniel, can you please let us know? And Iman, um, Iman, Daniel. So far I see that we, okay. And I, I hope we are done with this one. Hello, my name is Iman. Hi, Iman. Are you Hello. ready to present? Yes, I'm ready to pre uh, present. Okay, please. Yaman? Okay, I think that Yaman again has some issues. The internet is not always helping. Uh, what about Yojian? Yojian, are you still here? Uh, yes, I'm here. Um, okay. I need to help uh, Adriana with, uh, Adriana will help me to Oh, to share good. the screen. Good. If it's okay. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, the world, the world's best friend is you. The earth needs a friend, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is our earth. We need to to keep uh, it in a very well. We need to keep it very well. Well, uh, forests are essential for life on Earth. They help us to breathe. They help. Uh, they keep Earth cool. They make it rain. They uh, uh, fight flooding. They clean up dirty air. They muffle noisy pollution. Uh, they feed us. They give us medicine. They help us making things. Uh, forest therapy. Uh, a walk a day keeps the doctor away. Walking works. Uh, works. Do you know walking? Uh, walking helps to reduce blood pressure, reduce the risk of cancer and type two diabetes, uh, reduce joint pain, uh, reduce the risk of uh, dementia. It's simple. It's simple, free, and one of the easiest way to get more active. Nature and, uh, nature and men are tied together. Uh, deforestation uh, slogans. Stop deforestation to save the nation from pol uh, pollution. 
Trees are source of uh, fresh oxygen, never cut trees. Save forests for better and healthy future. Deforestation de uh, destroys many homes of birds and animals. Just stop it. Uh, trees you burn will never return. Uh, plant some trees instead of cutting them. They have life too. And uh, a slogan. The best time to plant uh, a, a tree is just now. Thank you for my, uh, thank you for attention. That was my yeah. presentation. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much, Jojan, for that. Really, it's indeed so. The best time to present, <laughs> to, to, okay, to uh, plant a tree is now. So we, if you have the possibility, just go out and, 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 and grab one and plant it wherever you, you feel like planting one. Okay, I still want to hear from two, I think two more people, uh, because I have two more. Abdul Rahman said that he wanted to say something, and the other person who um, didn't manage to speak. If, if I missed somebody, just let me know. Who would like to take it up now? Hey everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman. I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. Hi. And I have really some points that I don't think that have been discussed till now. Okay. As we see that this is a very quickly evolving situation. And we can see that that pollution was is so has is increasing day by day and day. It's increasing so much that we do not know where we will be in the next 30 years. There are rumors that cars will vanish. I'm by vanishing I mean that they will not be used. Automobiles. Automobiles will just vanish, they will not be used anymore. We will have to use horses for long distances and we will have to use bicycles. We will have to walk because this is, they're producing so much pollution in the air and factories are, factories are producing the water pollution. Our environment is not, we are just killing our environment. And let's say that we are killing our future generations because we will die after this. We will live for, I don't know, 80 years, 90 years. After that, whatever we are doing now, it's not going to benefit our future generations. We are practically killing them. And if you notice that before and after quarantine happened and lockdown was situated all over the world, there was a radical change. There was a radical change in before and after effects of pollution. The pollution decreased in a huge way. Why is that? Because of the automobile industry. We all know that on lockdown, we cannot, people did not go out. People remained in their homes, which means that cars were very, very less used. And because of that, the air became cleaner and countries starting planting trees. People were, people were at home. So they began taking care of their health. Some started cycling, walking, whatever. But my point is that the automobile industry is a huge factor to air pollution. If we just talk about the air. And now we know that quieter and cleaner cars are being designed. That is a very good thing. And on the other hand, if we look at the factories, another way of why water pollution reduced because people were not going to work. People were working from home. From most of, most of the people were working from home. So the factories and industries were closed. They were not working. The work was stopped. There was no mills working, and so the water was not polluted, polluted anymore. The waste products that were situ that were just, uh, let's say, thrown out into the water, they were not there anymore. Now, as for noise pollution, traffic, I, th I, th I think traffic is again the main source of noise pollution. Flights were cancelled, so noise pollution, so uh, flights were cancelled, so there is no more room, any, any more room for noise pollution. And now we can see that. So, Quarantine and lockdown has really, really brought down pollution and overall. We need to realize that this is our earth. This is our home. So we need to protect it. And this is in our hands. Because if we don't, now we have, we may be extinct in, in the next, I don't know, 100 to 200 years. We may be extinct. Thank you very much. Thank you, well, Abdul. Have, have yes, this was... I I have a question for Abdurrahman. So okay. after his wonderful presentation, he, is he suggesting that we remain in quarantine for the rest of our lives? <laughs> That's a very good question. 
Samdu, what do you say? I didn't get you. Can you repeat that question again? Are you suggesting that we should stay in quarantine and on lockdown for the rest of our lives? <laughs> no, that is exactly not my point. My <laughs> point is that we should opt for more than walking and bicycling. Okay? No, that is not my point, of course, that we should not stay in lockdown. We're going to go mad if we stay in home all the, all the, all the time. My point is that we should use what is your own bicycles and walking more. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't get you. What what is no your question. own solution? What is the point you're trying to make? What are you suggesting we do? So Abdul After suggested what? A solution yeah. is that we use we try to minimize we try to minimize the use of automobiles and vehicles because we can opt for other other sources of transport like we can walk, we can use bicycles. And we can reach, and for long distances, yes. I'm not saying that you just remove them. I'm just saying that you use them a little less than you would normally would. And just see this. Little, little, little on a you if everyone does this, this is going to result in a huge change. Yeah. Not because they're just saying I, I, that I, I, drop, 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 it's a whole river. Yes, I agree. I agree. Thank you. Okay, yes, this is exactly the point of uh, what we were doing until now. So we wanted to bring this question up and to make everybody aware of our contribution to solving this issue. Because you see, we had so many presentations from all around the world, but the main point was that we all actually have the same issues. And we all have air pollution, we all have water pollution, we all have earth pollution. And these are the basic things that we need for living. That's why it's very important, like, uh, like it was mentioned several times before, it was mentioned that we should take a step or take a lead now. Please do take actions now. Yes, use less cars, don't, don't use cars so often, use the bicycles more. Plant trees as often as you can, whenever you can. And it's not about only planting trees and posting that on Facebook. If you do that for Facebook, then don't do it. Better just plant a tree and you know that you planted and your friends know that you planted and you can gather more people from your surroundings, from your family, from your classmates and get together and go somewhere and plant some, some trees, yes? Not for Facebook, not for showing off because what we do is to save our future. Yes, this is the most important for everybody. I hope that Linda would also agree. She listened to so many uh, things now. Linda, what can you say about this? Like wonderful presentations we had from this many, many students who are wonderful. Yes, I thought the presentations were awesome. And I feel very happy to be part of the group. And, um, I, I really uh, want to reiterate, like you just did, that it takes everybody. It's a problem. It's a global problem, not a local problem, and it's going to take all of us being good stewards of the earth to make a change. Yes, yes, that's that's definitely what we aim to do by this gathering today. It takes us almost two hours for that but thank you very very much for being so open and for for sharing all of these things this is a wonderful thing and i would like to say that this is not going to stop here we are planning several more action, actions and activities of the kind and hope that you will just take part of, of them in the future too Okay, uh, somebody is writing here that yes, they want this event again. <laughs> yes, Mom Steve wants to say something also. Okay, uh, um, we can, we can, we can definitely. We will come back with emails. You've seen above in the chat that uh, we have sent you the the link for claiming the certificates for the presenters for those who came with the presentation, those who didn't manage to present today. We will come back to you with another invitation soon. So hope that in January we will, we will come back to this like practice, uh, but with some additional things. Yes. Uh, and somebody wanted to say, Abdul, yeah, or who? 
or Eamon who wanted to say something else, yes. Please feel free to do so if very shortly because we are sitting in front of the computers for too long already. Uh, I'll have a presentation, so can I speak? Okay, just shortly if you can say something because we are and wrapping up. Oh. Globalization on Mother Earth is facing serious pol pollution resulted from inconsiderable deeds on mankind. Therefore, there are four ways to reduce pollution on Earth, such as practicing the third Earth concept, reduce the usage of vehicles on road, creating awareness among citizens, and enforcing the laws. The first way to reduce pollution is to practice the three Earth concept, namely reduce, reuse, and recycle. Citizens should reduce the uses of air conditioners as it, as it will release harmful gases. For instance, ozone depleting chlorofluorocarbons, which will result in it reducing air pollution. One may make no difference, but when carried out together, massive ma changes can be made. Moving on, reuse, reuse uh, reusable items like plastic bags, bottles, boxes and more is also one of the way to reduce pollution. For example, instead of throwing away a worn out tire, it can be used as a plantation plot. The next way to reduce pollution is to recycle reusable, recyclable items such as glass, cans and newspapers. The recycled newspapers can be reproduced as toilet papers, which will reduce extra waste on Earth, indirectly contributing and reducing uh, and pollution. Therefore, practicing the 3RS is one of the most effective ways to reduce pollution on Earth. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, for wrapping up one more time, and before we say goodbye, I would like to share one more thing with you. Please just hang on for, for one more minute for this, because we've been preparing this for a long time and hope you will enjoy it. was our final message that we hope we didn't scare you off too much about it. This is our presentation on behalf of our organization. Uh, for those who were asking about this, uh, we are Meta Moldova, Moldovan English Teachers Association. We are very concerned about the future. We are very concerned about what is going on. We are all on all social media. So you can definitely find us on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You just find us there 
and you can message us, you can email us. We, you, most of you who are here today already emailed us, so we are in contact. Please come back to us with any initiative or other ideas. And as promised before, we will soon also come back with another invitation that makes part of this project and hope that, again, as said before, together we can make the change and we can make this world a better place for the future. Thank you very much.